you will find the download link in the description of this YouTube video. The download link is also available at the Samsung Gear 360 camera owners, users, Facebook page. Click on the files, download the document Gear 360 other useful apps document. In that document, locate the 360 dual fisheye video stitcher and there you will find the download link. The download link will bring you to this online storage. Select the folder, select download, monitor the download progress. Open your download folder, drag and drop the 360 dual fisheye video stitcher folder to the desktop. Scan the folder with your antivirus software. Norton 360 does not find any viruses. Now register the application with your antivirus software. Tell the software to trust the program. Verify that it does know that. Double click the application file. Register with Windows Defender. The file can be trusted. So let's make a shortcut. Right click on the application. Create shortcut. Right click on the shortcut. Properties. Go to the start in and delete that. Apply. Save. Drag the shortcut to your desktop. There you go. For this demonstration, we have a working folder. We have three videos. Let's take a look at one. It is a dual fish eye. Let's get started. Step one, load the video. Step two, choose the preset. 2017 or a 2017 video. Step three, set the output folder. Step four, render. Let's take a look. Output. Open. Pause. Zoom out. It just happened when this video was recorded, one lens was pointing directly at the sun, the other lens was not pointing at the sun. We can clearly see the stitch edge. Let's just reposition this. Change the zoom. Play. Choose preview. Update.
let's use rotational angles in render. Change the angle. Render. Let's take a look. By now you are familiar with the normal workflow, one, two, three, four, and the preview controls, step five. Here's the workflow to edit a preset. Step one and two are as before. Choose the preset, then step 2A, press the edit button, which will unlock default button and save button. Step 2B, now we select individual preset values edit them as needed. From there, we press save, step 2C. Now we go to step five. At step five, we then use the update button, step 5A. With the update complete, we will now see the new stitch. Repeat these steps until you're satisfied with the stitch. As you can see, I have loaded a video. It is a 2016 video. I've selected the 2016 preset. I've set the output folder to my working folder. We are in the preview mode and I've already pressed the update button. The video is now displayed. This video was originally recorded with the camera held in the horizontal position. So we will select horizontal camera and press the update button. We will look for the stitch edge. For some people, they have difficulty understanding the left image from the right image. So we create this feature. Preview left is black and white. Press the update. You can see the left is now black and white. The right is color. For this demonstration, I'll continue in full color. There we go. Obviously, there's an issue with some of this stitching here. Let's pitch a little bit more. Bring that more towards the center. There we go. And increase magnification. Yeah, that's a little bit better. There we go. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix this stitching. Before I do that, I'll explain these preset values. FOV, field of view. C is the amount of blending along the stitch edge between the left and right image. Roll left image, pitch left image, yaw left image, roll right image, pitch right image, yaw right image. The numbers are clearly described. The important thing here is to realize that yaw right image is always negative. Let's take a look at this image it looks to me as if the left image is higher than the right. That means that we're going to have to roll the left image down and we're going to have to roll the right image up. So what we're going to do is going to press the edit button. You'll see the edit button became undo. That will undo any of these values as a group before you save. We have to roll the left image point 
6. And we're going to roll the right image 0.6. We want the left to go down. So we add the minus there. Press save. Press update. It's clear that the left and right image will have to move closer together to get rid of this double image. Remember, to yaw the right, it will always have to be negative. From experience, if I make it negative, it will move to the right away from the left image. I don't want that to happen. So all I can do is to yaw the left image towards the right image. Press the edit button. We'll set the yaw left image to 2 and we'll make it negative to make it move towards the right image. Press the update. That looks pretty good. What I can tell you is this, that subjects in the recording that are of equal distance from the camera have a stitch quality that is equal. So objects that are very far away that may be a very excellent stitch in the opposite direction will be equal in that quality. 360 dual fisheye video stitcher. Bye-bye.